God damn, trying to dodge that copyright by restarting the stream. It's the only way. There is another way, but it's like it's more complicated than just restarting the stream. Yeah. I think that's a that's a big move though. Like showing that much in the trailer is is huge. People are going to analyze that a lot more than I did. People are, are going to like crawl over that. I mean, there's so much you can talk about, right? The the fact that they have alligators, the fact they have dogs and like all this other stuff in their trailer is is wild. Where's the the save point from? The save point's from 15 minutes ago. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, they showed a lot. They showed quad bikes, jet skis, uh, like five different types of helicopter and airplane and stuff like that. I mean, they showed a lot. A, a real lot. Why did my viewers just spike to, to... Oh god, the game just crashed and my viewers just spiked up to 12 and went down to 8. What the fuck? Why, why are people clicking on my stream? What, what is going on? <laughs> why did my game crash? Did somebody just, like, turn off their stream and then all the, the Witcher viewers were like, <gasps> We gotta go watch this guy instead. <laughs> Man, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, like, really impressed. I wanted to nitpick the trailer and say, like, the, the buildings in the background didn't look that great, but, like, it does look really good. We've all seen Grand Theft Auto V with mods and how photoreal the vehicles can be, and other games like Forza have photorealistic vehicles. So, you know, you're kind of expecting at this point that the vehicles and environments are going to look good. But the characters look way better than I thought, especially when I changed it to 4K. We didn't actually miss anything in the game either. Oh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Um, I'm looking for Siri. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem Is there. Dandelion been kidnapped? Oh no. Where's Dandelion? Come on, <laughs> man. I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. You're expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on the trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Zoltan Shivy having like literally the same fucking accent as like everybody where I live is just too good. Uh, his use of the word Havne. Havne's ah, like such I a Scottish thing. Muse. Reading someone else's. Life. Like the thing is right. If you're like an American voice actor and you're doing a Scottish accent, they would read the words on the page and, and like put on a Scottish accent, right? But like the actor that's doing Zoltan Shivy substitutes words in. Like there's no way he isn't writing some of that himself, right? Wow, Stevie, how are you even awake at 20 to fucking midnight? Did you watch the, the GTA 6 trailer? I just watched it and it was pretty, uh, pretty top tier. It actually does look really, really good, but you'd expect it to look really, really good. Is this a painting of Dandelion slaying a fucking dragon? 
Nose is too small. <laughs> the sword's too mm, a leak, the but it was it was on the official done. channel. It's up early. <sighs> Technique's not quite right. It was meant but to be up tomorrow at 2 p.m. our time, and it's up tonight, like, at 11 p.m., which is really, really, really off. Like, not that's not a couple of hours off. That's, like, half a day. You know what they could have done? Maybe they dropped it early, like, to get people talking about it more, so it's, like, a fake leak. But then it's also possibly because they know that um, the gaming news cycle is going to be really chaffed in the next couple of days because there's going to be like there's probably going to be about 20 gaming announcements in the next week like I'm not exaggerating there's going to be about 20 and I'm not meaning like 20 huge games there'll probably be like 6 or 7 big games and like 14, 15 smaller games because of the game awards I mean as much as I joke about the game awards not having world premieres whenever they say it's a world premiere it normally isn't um, they actually do have some there are some things at the Game Awards that, you know, confirm if a game is real or not. So the news cycle is going to be completely chaffed. Yeah, Game Awards is on the, the 7th. Letter from Bombhill, the Rab. Are we reading this? Dear Viscount, once more I would like to convey my thanks for agreeing to grace my son's wedding ceremony with your song. Your presence warmed their hearts, and the sweet notes with which you serenade us so touched my wife's mother. <laughs> the Baroness Dovlet Dovlet um, called in some circles a cold and heartless bitch. <laughs> Tears of tender emotion appeared in her heart. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god. Sometimes my mother-in-law is called a cold and heartless bitch, but your song brought a tear to her eye. So uninterested in new releases, I don't think anything has been worthy of the hype. What? This has been a huge year for games. The Harry Potter game was massive, the new Star Wars game was huge. Um, Hi-Fi Rush came out in January, like an excellent hack and slash game this has been a huge huge year like i would actually say this has probably been one of the strongest years in like the last five years and Baldur's gate free obviously starfield was a bit of a mm. well, Ten you know of two cent dry is what five it is cases of sodden triple mead hmm. that's mm. true if you play on no, pc no, no, as no, well no, that's, exactly that's true what we're looking for. it says planner but I think uh, this year overall has been really strong. I, I think I'm saying that because I've played, I played 14 new games this year. And out of the 14 new games, I think probably six of them are like better than anything I've played in the last couple of years. Liza P, I would actually say I liked more than Elden Ring. <laughs> Liza P is the South Korean made um, Souls-like game where you play as Pinocchio. And it, it's I actually liked it more than than Elden Ring. I definitely did. What are we actually meant to be doing right now? We're looking at Dandelion's planner to find out where he went. Oh yeah. Huh. Dandelion and planning. Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes yeah. not even that. Sandy a plays a lot of uh, Lethal Company. Bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. <laughs> <laughs> women. <laughs> the way he said it. Um, hmm. Wouldn't they just say when did he go missing and look at like the last couple of like people that he saw? Isn't that like the, the way you would do it? Why would you... Uh, why would you like look at the last couple of people? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, I'm gonna say that could help just for the dialogue. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps. Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies at my half. You interrogate the ones in yours. So che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Man, Zoltan's voice actor is really good. There was a character earlier in the game, and I didn't mention it at the time, but it sounded like, you know, like when I get too close to the microphone, and it, um, you can tell that it's recorded through like a really expensive mic. Zoltan doesn't have that when he talks. Only a couple of the characters in this game have had it, but one of the characters did. It wasn't the Baron, but it was around that time. I can't even remember who it was. Some throwaway. Anyway, read Dandelion's Planner. Uh, inventory. Books. Dandelion's Planner. A rose of our Atra, like a rose abashed of its crimson hue. A fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to sing her dwarf with agility. Swing her dwarf with agility. A charming garden enclosed villa in Guldorf. Molly. What, what am I meant to be picking up here? Guldorf villa next to the morgue. And then the other one is Guldorf as well. Falconer's laundry near the mouth of the Pontar. The bits near Pauper Square. So I guess we're just gonna talk to all these women. Can I talk to Zoltan now? Still here. Looking for something? Ah, oh, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off the board. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Um are we gonna ask about every single girl? Isn't it better to just go to them, maybe? Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, <laughs> examines it from all perspectives. <laughs> that picture of him, a fucking flamberish. <laughs> Come on, man. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh, truly perverse. She didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Oh, <laughs> poor bastard fled out the window. A bit and reins. Wow. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's up. Hollered something about him being a scandal. It's the way that like Geralt so delivers things That's in such a flat up. way. Threw flower pots at him. Yes, so flames never die. Like the way he delivers a line is like, threw his knickers out a window, and it's just so flat, right? Compared to people like the Baron and Zoltan and everybody else in the game. <laughs> no. A figure most rare. Her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Seems fascinated with not this one. Must have a big pair of knockers. This one's exceptional. <laughs> they say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one then? Nah, you can have her. 
Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. I don't know what any of that means, Zoltan, but sure. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa Var Atre named her Guhir. Her Guhir. A dozen of Gaudian aristocrat with the Imperial Legation. Her Guhir. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred sorply. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common sword master? Well, Wait. Well, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing and other instructions. I'm confused. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad is now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. Throughout this whole thing, right, when we're asking about these women, and they're talking about, like, keeps their garden tidy, and, you know, her dwarf is what she calls her guahir. It's like, um... It's like when you don't understand a word and you ask what it means and they give you another word that's even more obscure and then you don't know what you're talking about. So sword fighting actually is sword fighting, right? Rosa Var Atra is actually a sword fighter. Like, she's she's not, like, she doesn't have a dick, right? Right? Like, it's... It's hard to tell with this game. I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying. Well, know about all I wanted to know. I know more than I wanted to know. Where the fuck are we going now? Actually going to talk to people? Um, one of them sounded like it was further away than the rest, right? One of them sounded like it was on the mouth of the Ponter, which is outside the city? Am I wrong? Maybe it's this one? No. None of these are on the mouth of the Ponter, other than maybe this one? Fuck it. Let's just uh, run to the closest one. I ho, I ho. It's up to work we go. <laughs> Look at them. It's like fun. <laughs> it's Santa's little helpers. Look at this guy. <laughs> Wait, is this Triss? Wait, is this Triss? Ooh. It's not Triss. It looks like Triss. Same haircut. She has a single bun instead of a double bun. Where are we going, lads? Cleaver's Hench Dwarf. I prefer the term Hench Person, you know? Then it could be kind of ambiguous. That literally looks like uh, Triss Marigold though, right? Like, it looks like her. This is the voice actor that sounds like Ralph Innocent, but I don't think it's him. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. What the f- Right, we're stepping in, lads. What are you hoping for? We got a, a white knight. knight. Armor. Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Hmm. I kind of feel like if we protect her now, they'll just come back when we're gone. I feel like 200, giving her 200 is uh, the best way, right? Fuck it. We're going to fight them. This spew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. Let's dance. Oh shit, it's a sword fight. I thought it was going to be like a, a brawl. Kill the horse, Is that this guy that threw something? Oh. 
No decapitation? Come on, man. Covered in blood, all of it. So much work for naught. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but for everything I had, I just lost. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself, or he'll burn me down. Sorry. Didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun, and we're stuck with a mess. Oh, well. I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments, too. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse <laughs> pheasant. That <laughs> lion scoundrel. This game. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And... No more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside. <laughs> she just walked right through the fucking clothesline. It just goes right through her head. About the at the <sighs> house. Then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Alright. Um. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covir. <laughs> Horvir, more likely. Course it so tight her eyes were popping out her head. <laughs> it's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Course it so tight her eyes were popping out her head, so they were. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about exactly? Oh, this and that really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. They didn't drop like any loot. Look at this death pose. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I love this game. <laughs> Jesus. Broadhead Bolt. I don't think we've ever seen Broadhead Bolt as a, um, an item, right? I don't think we've ever heard this song either. Alright, talk to Elihal. Eliel? Monsters breed well in wartime. In the free city of Novograd, only the humans, the white wolf. I keep thinking about the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. I want to watch it again, but I also don't want to get DMCA'd. I think it kind of looks about as good as I would have expected it to look, and you would expect it to look really good. And it kind of has a rock star look to it. And you can tell that it's like a... You can tell it's not a story game, right? You can tell, like, it's not a story game like um Not Callisto Protocol. What's that one that came out this year that's a bit like Dead Space? Not Callisto Protocol, but the other one that was like Dead Space that has, like, a really... The really cinematic one. You can tell that it's not gonna have, like, as good graphics as that because they're different types of game. And that's not what, like, that type of game is about in the first place. But, you know, it's, it's obviously going to look way better than Grand Theft Auto V and comparable to 
to of Red welcome, Dead. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. This is a guy. I thought he was a girl. He's got a tub. Nice shallow tub. Not as deep as my tub at Cairmorn. I'm a friend of Dandelion's. Looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Huh? What does he have? He dresses as a woman? Oh, come on. Any better? <laughs> he did that in so two seconds. Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... Sword fight. How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> oh. Oh, hold it together, Depp. No jokes. No jokes. Uh, don't want to know the rest. Don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. <laughs> that was the joke I, I was going to make. Start. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. I was going to make that joke. I was going to say, I bet he was really drunk. I was going to say it, but the game made it for me. Um, when did you last see him? Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian Countess one day, a Dockside Thug the next. That is true. I'd like to see him dress as a Dockside Thug. We've seen the Dockside Thugs. They look like Eddie Hall. Even for a moment. Must be horribly boring being a Witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid, flaccid cock. cock. Wow. That's that's a talent. Thanks for your help. To be honest. Uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find them. Can we actually buy stuff from them? Because that would be uh that'd be pretty cool. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? <gasps> they play cards! We're doing it. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. I actually got a new card that I think is a Northern Realms card that I didn't look at yet. It's not Northern Realms. Yeah. It must have been... It must have been a Nilfgaard card. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. Opponent goes first. We got pretty decent cards. I would say that... Probably reroll the rain and reroll this guy. Okay. Terrible opener. Don't have a clue what he's doing. Vernon Roche.
he's not gonna play an ice card if he has a plus 10 in the melee, right? Like, he's not gonna do that. Alright, I think we fog him and pass. Regardless of what he plays, I'm passing. I don't think he can beat me. Yep, he can't beat me on the second round. I get back my catapult. Opponent has passed. What the fuck? He's going to play the catapult. Yep. Shit, I lose! No, 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 I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. We're fine, we're fine. We just wait, we just have to wait. Oh no, wait, maybe I do lose. Oh no! Huh? Did he just troll me? Did he just rub it in? Did he remove the fog just to troll me even more? Fucking hell. He's doing it again. He's trolling me. <laughs> GG. This game. This game. Greetings. Come to look at. Wouldn't mind a few Fuck. rounds of cards. I set the bet at five instead of ten. It's fine. All right. Good hand. Give me a good hand. Uh, this hand sucks. This is a really bad hand. Oh, yeah, this hand is fucking ass. This is, like, really bad. Oh, my God. I think we take a loss on round one with this hand. It's that bad. Yep. This is... This is unbeatable. <sighs> I think I take a loss on this round. I think I just do. No, I don't. No, I don't. He just took my double draw card, so, like, I can just double down. He took the, the spy card back into his hand, so he's probably going to play it, yeah, right, and give me points, and then take two cards himself. I'm going to keep playing. That's when we give up. We're not without playing this. Oh shit, oh shit. Right, if I play the frost thing, it draws him down to 10 instead of 20. So he'll go down to 37. And then Vernon Roche won't be affected. I don't think there's a way I can win this. Fuck it, let's go all in. I'm gonna use this, then I'm gonna use Frost. Oh, 
Oh wait, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was forgetting that. Oh. I can't win. But that puts me to four cards, which means I get an extra card this turn, right? So, unless he has a bunch of really good cards left... Oh shit. Right, do I draw? I don't draw! I don't understand that at all. If you're playing as Northern Realms and you have under six cards, sometimes you draw an extra one. And sometimes you just don't. Right, right, right. This is good. This is good. Um. I think I win. No oh shit! I forgot you could play that in the back row. We lost. Yeah, we lost. Fuck. GG. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Let's Please. just check his inventory and leave. Look over my spring. Hopefully he... Glad to take a glance at what you he got. sells something funny. Course, sells a wolf mask. Oh. They're quest items. Do we just buy all the masks, I guess? Because you don't need them. You don't need all three, you can only wear one at once. doesn't have enough coin. Why are you so broke? So long. What time is it? Midnight? Damn. Alright. These ones are further away, so I'll look for a fast travel thing. It almost feels like the game is just trying to introduce me to new characters, right? It felt like that's what it's trying to do. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. A teacher. Um. Fine, I'll wait. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come Ma? after all. Where are well, you? A rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Where'd you get bit? It hurt him much. Well, he died. Vigilante only kills bastards. 
Do I really have to wait on them finishing their conversation about how one of the kids got bit by a rat? How do you know? Mum says that if he but catches a cop, he's as good as in the brain. This one's Multiple copies of ballads and hymns. Lager and Stout. Lager and Stout just in the the schoolhouse. Bring your children to Marabella's school for tots, where they will learn reading, writing, and respect for the gods. We charge no fees, but welcome donations from all. Alright, we're gonna give them some, mo some uh, money. Remember I said earlier that the graffiti had a thing that looked like a mushroom? It's actually this letter. It just looks like a mushroom. A little carved horse, diary of a fire swallower. Alcohol. This woman's got like seven things of alcohol in her her house. Come on now. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe. No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. Um. He wrote a poem. Should I show her the poem? Weren't all the poems kind of shit? I found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Did he give all the women the same necklace, by the way? I've noticed that every single woman in this game has the same necklace. Did you see any of my Unless they're a sorceress, then they have the one that uh, Kira has. I'd be curious to know what you thought of I think Kira and Triss have the same necklace, right? No, no. See and then it. there's this G different one that the peasants wear. Whip rose skyward. Jihaw, crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lather bathed its chinny chin chin. What the fuck is she talking Sorry, about? This is terrible. Much about poetry. That poem was shit. You should put a line in about somebody's ass. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? He only no. likes limericks. That's a Geralt's chance. thing. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came if back it doesn't start with there once was so a man from Nantucket, done. he doesn't it's like done. it. Alright, so it's not her. her. She hasn't even seen him. He's not here. He's not sleeping under the floorboards. Um, I think that Rosa is the one that probably is the most likely, right? Because Rosa is the one that actually uses swords and gets into combat and seems to have problems with her father. And those are all things that lead to trouble. Those are things that are trouble in the first place. She's got daddy issues and... Barbarian. What? what? Barbarian? Look at this pimpling. Look at this pimpling. I'm so annoyed. Help! Ooh. What the fuck is their symbol? It's like two <laughs> human centipede. It's like two men joined together at the the stomach. Let's villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone.
Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. Um, Mavris and Visima. We've met before. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired to chat with the Witcher. I too was fortunate enough to He was the guy that led me in when I went to talk so to Geralt Yennefer, Rillian right? Now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Yeah. As Var Emir when we went to talk to, to Emir. Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. That's a big ass load screen. It's probably meant to have a comic part, but I turned the comic parts off. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella. Sired by Kahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color. For horses, too. My coin's in the Black Stallion, Nemrot. Purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. <laughs> what the fuck? That was a bad joke. I don't think he should be making shit jokes in front of the General. Um... Uh... Do we want to say the other things? I kind of want to get on with the story. Seem to know your horses. Tonight I've played like three and a half hours of this game, and I've hardly done anything. I find them to be far Just a lot of meeting people and talking. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Oh God, we knew this was gonna happen. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautiful <laughs> Let's race. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Does this matter? I'd like to give Nemrod a try, Cantarella, I'll ride the Zeracanian Bay. Let's go with this one. Radovid's encamped nearby. Redanian chestnut might want to impress its king. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. So if I'd chosen Cantarella, would he have been mad because that was his choice of horse? It kind of feels like it would have been. That's why I didn't choose it. Because Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I thought he was going to go on the black horse. I thought the black horse was Cantarella. Let's go. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna Tokyo drift all these corners. Come on, Witcher. Let's see what you're made of. Can't we give her horse like some um some fist deck or some calcium equit?
Oh fuck, I took my finger off the button. I'm not even kidding. Did I win? A thrill, a beautiful victory. Thanks. For one, for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Superior yeah, racing saddle. Ah, oh, yes. Mom. What does it even do? That is it is just saddlebags or the portly young woman? That's her. Speak to her. Portly. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Hold on here. What does the saddle even do? Fifty stamina, twenty stamina. All right. So, does that mean your horse is zero stamina to begin with, and this is like the sprint bar, so it's more than double? Or does it mean that, like, if you have 50 base, we went from having 70 to 100? I guess we'll find out. What is this short trophy? Oh, cool. Let me save real quick. Yeah, like, I'm not even making this up. Um, yesterday. Or... Yeah, this was the save from last night. I think this was the save from last night I've played a lot since then and hardly done anything it feels like as much as life. talk to Rosa Varatra or talk to Molly talk to Molly first I'm Molly my lord wish to see me call me Geralt Geralt that Geralt the one dandelions rescued time and time again. That's right. Except it's the other way around. Wow. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't dandelions saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from a hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't. <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? <laughs> he doesn't even care to correct no. it. He's like, Sadly, fuck it. I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says dandelions are good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Oh! Is it Siri? Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Borrow Why coin? A barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. And he'd sing me arias. But well, I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister. Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell, Geralt. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister. I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. That's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. Do you know what I actually thought she was going to ask? And I'm not even kidding. I thought that she was going to say, Dandelion says that his friend Geralt has the tiniest penis in all the lands. And I thought she was actually going to ask to see my balls and my cock. I thought that was actually going to be the line. I'm not even kidding. There was just something about it. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Um, 
I'll head back on my own. Wait, I'm not I'm not done yet. No, actually came to say goodbye. I'll get back on my own somehow. As you will. In any case, I thank you for a pleasant afternoon. No, thank you. Till next time. Ow! Oh, fuck. <laughs> as much as life. Oh my god, he's stuck. He has a new saddle, though. I wonder if this part of the map is just here all the time now. Like, there's just always a race course. Maybe, right? Oh! Wait, I did want to go back with them. Fuck. Because that's like the house. That's the house that they live in. Shit. Run, Roach. Am I allowed my horse in the like sea? Oh. Ah, that's what Gallop in the City mod does. There's a mod that lets you gallop in cities, and I always thought it was weird because you can gallop in all the cities. But it doesn't mean like towns, it means actual cities like go, this one. Go. Got it. When I was talking and like about that and like looking at the mods, I hadn't seen a city this big yet, so. I kind of thought a city was anywhere that there was houses. Locked. Scrambled out the hole in the back wall. Sounds like um, it might be an acrobat. Maybe so. Both misses are fond of freaks. Find a way in. That and so oh. pretty, but Deepest apologies. Is this a brothel as well? No. Jesus Christ, what the hell's going on over here? Falling returns are not my concern. Uh, nothing hurts as much as yes. life. You'd have done better to keep your coin in real estate. An empty lot fetches more today than. Oh, these aren't uh, strumpets. These are courtesans. I have no idea how to get into here. Like a what grace? What style? Um Pretty sure I just locked myself out even more. Interesting. Darling Rosa, from the first moment I set eyes upon you, that faithful evening at Vegelbuds, my heart has only beaten for you. I can't eat or sleep. My master threatens to terminate my apprenticeship. And I don't even know if you remember me, Albert Vegelbud. Uh, Albert Vegelbud. Albert Vegelbud introduced us near the roasted capon table. Capon? Capon? What's a capon? Uh, I happened to be eating one when I saw you. It stuck in my throat and I started to choke, and you laughed. Oh, how sweetly, how brightly you laughed. That marvelous sound still fills my ears to this day. I live in the hope that I will be given the chance. To hear it once more. I beg you, meet with him. Meet with me. Even if, uh, just for a moment, just for a second, I will wait for you by the well in Gildorf every dusk at do- Oh my god! Um, if you care for the life of a poor lad, fallen hopelessly in love with you, take pity and come. Do not torture me with eternal waiting. Your truly devoted admirer, Gilbert Bliff. Well, this thing's a fly shit, so, uh, I don't think, uh, she took kindly to him. But then again, he's the one with the letter, so that means he didn't give her the letter? What the fuck is this?
think this is actually the way you're meant to come in. Wow. And I think this is for another quest. Yeah, this is for another quest. I forgot how to do combat in this game. It's been so long. Yeah, this isn't for this area, right? Like, this isn't uh, anything to do with the quest I'm on. We're not finding our way into Var Atra Villa through the sewer. Shit. Let's go back up. going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. <sighs> Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, uh, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new sword play instructor, <laughs> correct? What the fuck? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, no. You realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one and take care not to hurt the little miss, or you'll earn the ambassador's ire. Follow me. Do I have to equip the wooden practice sword? No. It's just a quest item. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your work. Do I have to parry a load of her blows or something? No. No? Yes. Yes? No? I think I actually have to beat her. Why 
bother with two swords when you damn it! Well fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Incredibly. But we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a what? rematch. I kind of knew it was going to be Rose, Rosa that had the the story because the sword play instructor is going missing, right? And then Dandelion also going missing. I wonder if I can yeah. use my Witcher Why shit on her. Two swords when you can barely handle one. Yeah. Damn it. Well, you're not allowed to use Witcher shit. Instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. <gasps> Edna Va'atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south wait. of the Yoruga. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, Doppler's? yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, oh, I no. could explain. Oh no, they're actually sisters. <laughs> sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Aging bard. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Uh, easy, ladies. Calm down, ladies. <laughs> no poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Um, I'm gonna ask everything. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even That's very weird. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. What are two young Nilfgaardian aristocrats doing in Novigrad? Dying of boredom. <laughs> Papa's a diplomat. He also has many business dealings in Novigrad. He's a member of the Trade Corporation. Takes us along everywhere he goes, and must then find us new tutors in each spot. And so in Novigrad, the task fell to the poet Dandelion. Rosa's betrothed. Edna! Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? 
Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war is disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Wonder how the war is going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. I kind of want to go and talk to Radovid. Like it said, he's encamped nearby when we were at the, the races, and that was slightly to the south. Changing subjects. Hmm. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been right. a pleasure. Let's get the fuck but out of here. Stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. I really Please thought that was going to be a Doppler thing, and then when she mentioned the grave, I was like, uh oh. Can I expect any more lessons? Is it a Doppler you? pretending to be the dandelion? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's he? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. It must feel weird when somebody's like attracted to your twin, right? Because then you're like, how much of that attraction would they have for me? So Rosa's sister is probably thinking to herself like, you know, that she would have an easier time if she tried to seduce Geralt, right? It's just weird to think about, especially when you're like identical, identical. Did you know that one in every 270 people is a twin? Or sorry, one in every 270 births is a twin birth. That doesn't mean identical twins, but it means like, uh, you know, twins. Pretty crazy, right? You wouldn't think it was as high as that. Like, it, it's wrong to say one in every 275 people is a twin, because that's not true. That number is, uh, higher. How do I get out of here? <laughs> do they have fruit to steal? Any books? A casket? And silver pantaloons? Hold the fucking phone, what is a- What's silver pantaloons? It's just an item. Just a junk item. Alright, there's nothing here. I don't think so anyway. Yeah, a load of shit. I don't think there's a point in fast traveling, so we'll just run to Zoltan at the, the bar. I kind of feel like this mission is a long way around to try and find Dandelion. We literally went through all the women in his notebook. And then it's the last one and then we're like back and forward, back and forward. I get that it's a game and it's got to be like that. But it kind of feels like with uh, Geralt's detective skills that maybe he would have found her quicker. Found him quicker. Like if he'd asked more people. When was the last time you saw they saw Dandelion and like, I don't know. Just feels like a bit of a long-winded quest. It is what it is though. The fuck is this an owl? Have we even drunk our water? Not a bound. Now repeat. Crackers. I don't think it's a parrot, Zoltan. It's not going to say savory crackers. Ah, you're back. 
you met, Poppy? Should you stop talking any Dino? She's an owl knob. <laughs> Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well? Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we want to talk about Dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Um... You first. Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. I'd not seen hide nor hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines. Of dubious worth. Hmm. Think I might have something better. What are you waiting for? Let's have at it! Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. <laughs> that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Why wasn't she on the list? Mm, this Priscilla wasn't like the others. I think Dandelion more than fancied her. I think it was fair for her. He lusts after every other woman he meets. How can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Himself. Exactly. <laughs> and she's his mirror image. Oh, no. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. The lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummer's Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. I don't think that owl's gonna talk. Anyway, I think we're uh, we're donezo here, right? I think we're donezo. Um, if you're to come, send me a message beforehand. I'll ask my mistress for a day off. Sidaris from Fran in Sidaris. Do we know where Sidaris is? Do I know of a place even called Sidaris? I don't think so, right? Anyway, um, yeah, maybe I end the stream. It is one in the morning. I don't even know how long I've streamed for tonight. It's got to be at least four hours, right? Because I started at about like, did I start at about nine or, or ten? I don't even know. Maybe it's less. Maybe it's only three hours. At any rate, it is one o'clock. Um, there's a rat in here. Alright, let me save it. I'm out here. The stream seemed to be stable the whole night. I'm gonna watch back a bit of the VOD just to see what the quality's been like. Um, it should be higher than it has been. And it will be higher moving forward. And it seems very, very stable. At least in this game it seems very stable. And this is quite a hard game to stream. Um, it uses 100% GPU. Alright, anyway. Good night. Thanks for watching, great stream, big memes, a long talky part of the game, but you gotta have long talky parts sometimes. Right, good night.